Hey everyone, welcome. Uh, quick practice today to <clears throat> bolster immunity and maybe build just a little bit of heat in the body. I'm gonna show the chair versions of things, but also maybe briefly kind of demo how you could do this on your mat as well. So taking a comfortable seat, either right on your mat or you can come back in your chair and feel your back body into the back of your chair. Take a couple of breaths here where you notice the breath flowing in and out through the nasal passages. Tune into the temperature of the breath as it flows in. You might notice the breath just a little warmer as it flows out. Kind of tuning in to any agitations, fluctuations, kind of movement in the mind. Winter, early winter is a time of vata, which is a lot of times a really kind of busy mind. So if you're feeling that today, that is okay. Slowing down here uh, within our yoga practice is a great way to help the mind calm down a little too. So we can reflect towards the end on how things have shifted. All right, let's go ahead and come forward in your seat. Feel your feet on the ground. I'm going to bring my heart forward here and let my hands slide back. As I exhale, I'm going to round my back, let my hands slide out. So we're going to take just a few rounds of seated cat cow here. A little back bend on the in breath. Little rounding, little forward bend on the out breath. Just a little focus on breath being light, soft. Think of it being subtle today too, smooth. All right, find a neutral spine. So not really a back bend, not really a forward bend, just the natural curves of the back body. And then we'll start to circle our shoulders around our hips a few times in one direction. And go ahead and change the direction here. Go the other way a few times. All right, coming back to center. I'm gonna go ahead and make um, a little fist with my hand. So I'm gonna use the kind of knuckly part of my fist here, the bony part, and rub into my kidneys. You can be standing or seated for this. So I'm just gonna kind of scrub right underneath my lower ribs with that knuckle part of my hand. You'll probably find a little place where you really do feel as though that feels nice. You might want to just spend a little extra time rubbing there or scrubbing there. And just really kind of working into that zone. If it doesn't work for you to reach around and rub this area, you can always just kind of rub the legs or the knees instead if your arms don't happily reach around, right? All right, go ahead and just kind of massage the hands down, that flat hands right down the low back. And then just take a moment to notice. All right, we'll take a seated uh, warrior one now or standing, I'll show standing in a moment. So we're gonna start with the left leg forward, right leg a little bit more back. This is how I kind of like to teach a warrior one seated rather than getting all funky on the chair. I like to keep both sit bones on it. Left leg a little bit forward, right leg a little bit back. We're gonna inhale and take our arms up. As you exhale, just open to about shoulder height. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. 
Inhaling up, exhale to about shoulder height. And same thing if you're standing, right, warrior one? On our inhale, exhale, straighten that front leg a little bit, maybe soften the arms down to about shoulder height. All right, next time you get into the inhale position, reach, reach, reach through the fingertips here. Let's go ahead and lower, so standing or seated, lower your left arm and go ahead and tip to the left. Take a breath or two here into the right side body. Inhale up, exhale, let that arm float down. All right, take a moment seated or standing mountain pose. You can bring the feet back together and just notice your breath. So in terms of building immunity, we're gonna do a couple of specific things, but just any kind of movement for the body helps to pump lymphatic system around the body and even just focusing on breathing can help to massage into the thoracic duct. So <clears throat> everything we're doing today is in fact bolstering, serving our immune system. What we're gonna do next is right foot a little bit more forward, left foot a little more back in our warrior one. We're gonna go ahead and do that same arm variation. Inhale up, exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades. Just a little bit together, inhale up. Soften the elbows, heart forward as you exhale. All right, next time you inhale. Let's pause here, take a couple of breaths. You might just lightly soften the elbows on the exhale. Inhale. Reach, reach, reach. Exhale, slightly soften. Inhale, reach. This exhale, go ahead and lower the right arm. We'll take a little trip to the right. Couple of breaths into the left side body here. If you're standing, you can let your hand rest on the chair or on your front thigh. All right, next exhale, lower down and step your feet together. All right, we're gonna practice a chair pose. And if you are fully seated in your chair and you wanna stay that way, then what you're going to do, you can stay facing forward. I'm just going to turn so you can see my spine better. You're just going to really kind of press into your feet, lean forward with your hands and inhale. Exhale, keep the press into the feet. It's almost like you're going to stand up. You can feel that pressure in your legs like you're about to stand up, but you're not quite going to do it. As you lean forward, it's like, oh, I'm about to sit up, right? But I'm not going to do it. So that's kind of the way to do the fully seated version. If you're comfortable standing, you can inhale, have straight legs, arms up. Exhale, bend the knees, take the arms down. Inhaling up, exhaling down. And now with any recent surgeries or anything of that nature, I might not wanna take my arms up as high or I might not wanna take them up at all, so. Exhale, bend into the knees. Inhale, straighten the legs. I want this practice to be really pretty fully accessible and give you lots of options. So just kind of omit the options that don't work for you. And, you know, there is no best option. It's just what's best for you, right? There's no advanced option. It's just what is advanced what's feeling good for you today right all right next time you're in 
the chair pose. So seated, you know, you can be in that kind of exhale position, maybe hands at the edge of your chair. Standing, we're in the bent knee position, hands down by our sides. Just really feel the leg muscles kind of hug into the bone here. Pull the belly in just a little bit as you exhale. Inhale, lengthen the spine. All right, next inhale, go ahead and straighten up to mountain, seated or standing mountain pose. Couple of breaths here. All right, we're gonna take the right leg, cross it over the left. And um, I do work with all ages. You know, I do some chair yoga at some independent and assisted livings. And I know that sometimes we just need to cross our ankles here and squeeze our thighs together. That is good too, right? Whatever version works for you. This could even be a standing eagle. So I could have my right leg crossing over my left and make it a standing balance. We're gonna do eagle pose. So right over the left here. And then I'm gonna take my right arm under my left. Go ahead and give yourself a little hug or the back of the hands or the palms together, your choice. I'm gonna inhale and kind of open up just a little bit. As I exhale, I'm gonna squeeze my thighs in towards one another, squeeze into the underarm. So really soaking, squeezing and soaking all the lymph nodes in the underarms and the groin. I'm gonna keep kind of opening up a little bit on my inhale, squeezing into the lymph nodes on the exhale. Inhale up. All right. Next time you're in the inhale position or exhale position, rather, we're going to hold. So just kind of squeeze in, squeeze everything in toward the midline, squeeze into the underarms, into the muscles, lymph nodes, and the groin here. Keep breathing. And then go ahead and unwind everything. Take a moment in just a comfortable seat. So after we squeeze, it's almost like wringing out a washcloth or a sponge. After we kind of wring out those lymph nodes, we wanna just let everything soften. We wanna let them be flooded or flushed with uh, lymphatic fluid. We want to flow through and just clean those zones out. All right, other side, left leg over the top. It can just be across at the ankle and then actively squeeze the thighs together, or you can cross right over. Can be that standing balance too. All right, left arm under the right here. I can take a hug, back of the hands together or palm. On my inhale, I'm gonna lift. On the exhale, really squeeze in. And this class is pretty similar to what I teach on Mondays. I don't always show so many chair options. Sometimes it's a little bit more standing or a little bit more um, seated. <clears throat> but basically I try to show lots of options and make it work for most bodies. Make it an accessible class, we say, right? All right, next time you exhale and squeeze in here, really squeeze into the underarm, squeeze the thighs together. Keep the breath flowing though. Again, that breath, the lungs kind of opening, expanding on the inhale and contracting on the exhale is gonna massage the, another part of the lymphatic system, the thoracic duct. All right, on an inhale, unwind. We're gonna let everything get soaked with that fresh flow now in a seated or standing mountain pose.
All right, so a couple different ways to do this next one. It's gonna be a forward bend. I'm just gonna, you can stay facing forward. I'm just gonna, again, turn so you can see my spine. I'll show the seated and the standing version. We're gonna inhale, nice long spine. Exhale, just lean forward as much as feels good. Keeping the heart in the front of the nose here keeping your spine long. So what I don't wanna see is a lot of rounding in the low back. I wanna keep that natural inward curve of the low back and then just lean forward as much as feels all right. That's gonna be our seated forward bend, going into it on the exhale. Inhale, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna play with arms on inhale today too. I'm gonna to inhale up, exhale, bend my knees into the forward bend, inhale up. Exhale. And next time you're in the forward bend, so seated, you might just let your hands kind of rest at your thighs, keep breathing and lengthening. Standing. As long as it feels okay for your back body, you can try to keep your spine a little bit longer, knees as bent as you need here. Sink into your forward fold. Being mindful, you know, that the standing forward bend is not for everybody. It could make you a little lightheaded. All right, on an inhale, we're all gonna come up. Exhale, hands down to your sides. Seated or standing mountain pose. Okay. Now, for anybody who is comfortable lying down on the floor, you can go there and I will show the next uh, pose in both seated and lying down. So if you're comfortable just staying seated, I want you to elongate your spine here. Maybe take both arms up and inhale. As you exhale, go ahead and take the left hand to the right knee, right hand down to the chair alongside of you. And take, I'm gonna take a few breaths in this twist seated. Just hold it there. And then if you're lying down on your mat, you could just take your right knee to your chest and then draw it across the body for a comfortable twist. Take one more breath here, whichever version of the twist you're in. And then you can unwind, so seated mountain pose or just lying on your back for a moment. And then we'll take the left knee towards the chest. Or seated, you can elongate your spine on an inhale and twist to your left on the exhale, just as we did on the other side, just opposite. Lying down, you can draw your left knee over to the right side of your mat for the supine twist. And tuning into your breath. So as class gets quiet, letting the mind roam, it's totally fine. But as you notice it, come back to your breathing. All right, we're gonna inhale to center here. If you're lying down, I'd encourage you to maybe hug your knees into your chest for a few breaths. Seated, you can take one more of those little forward bends, coming to center. 
Exhale, take a little forward bend. You can keep moving on the breath if you like. And everyone can take a relaxation pose. So you could stretch out flat on your back for Shavasana if you're lying down. Seated, you might just lean back in your chair, let your body relax. We'll tune into the breathing. you're lying down, you might start to slowly make your way to seated. I'm just going to take about one more minute together to do uh, a mudra practice. And this is called Garuda Mudra. It's for immunity. So you're just going to kind of cross your wrists one over the other, spread the fingers out and let the thumbs hook. Place the hands right at the breastbone. And start to breathe here into the into the hands. Mudra is for immunity. Therapeutic mudras, you can practice them several times a day. If you really want to bolster immunity today, you can try this one a couple more times for a minute or two each time. Bring our hands lightly together at our heart palms to touch. Thanks so much for trying this yoga for all accessible practice with me today. Hope you enjoyed it. Namaste. Thank you. Have a wonderful week.